Ladies and gentlemen, back with our champion here in the women's 5K, Erica Sullivan, also picking up the 18 and under national championship. She placed third in Friday's 10K. Well, Erica, it was pretty much dominant. Once you took off, it was your race. Was that the plan? No, I actually went up for that buoy hoping that the pack would move up with me. And I was scared to look back. And when I finally had the chance to look back, I realized that I was by myself. And I was like, okay, this is how the race is gonna go. What does that do to you psychologically? Because you talk about you had one thought in mind that it was going to play out a certain way, and then it suddenly is basically polar opposite there. You know, obviously you have some dialogue in your head at that time. What was that dialogue, and, and how do you handle that? Because at that point, it was kind of all or nothing for you, it seemed. Um, well, I think at that point, you got to learn, you know, in the sport, you got to learn how to adjust real quickly. So what I, as soon as I realized that I was alone, I just kind of just switched gears a little bit, and they're like, well, this is the new game plan. Let's roll with it, see what happens. Very good. What did you learn from Friday's 10K event as we talked to the guys about that you were able to implement today? Obviously, we thought the weather was going to be a little warmer. We started a little earlier to kind of counteract that. Conditions seemed pretty good. What were you able to pick up from your uh, Friday effort? Well, after Friday, um, my body was really hurting on Saturday. And I think I just had to like sit down for a minute and really think that, you know, I'm not the only one out there who's sore. Everyone out there is just, who swim the 10K is just as sore as I am right now. So I think I just have to dial in and find, you know, the mental strength to persevere, persevere and um, be able to move up there just to realize, you know, I'm not the only one hurting. Now on Friday, we had a good discussion about uh, the fact that you're half Japanese and that you have a goal of Tokyo, which is great. We also talked yesterday that you're fluent in Japanese, is that right? I'm going to give you the opportunity if you're up for it, because maybe your grandparents back in Japan are going to see this interview. So let's switch gears for a moment, do something a little off kilter. Would you like to talk about your race a little bit in Japanese? Um, sure, I'll give it a shot. I mean, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll start with the question, all right? First off, what would you like to say back to your family in Japan and talk to them about the race a little bit today? Um, and that was what that you said there. I said that, that race hurt really bad, but uh, I fought, I fought on, and I did what I could. <laughs> there you go. That's the Erica Sullivan way, ladies and gentlemen. Your 5K Open Water National Champion, Erica Sullivan, the Sandpipers.